Hi, I'm going to show you how to import a journal entry that you have already in uh, Excel and import into QuickBooks. The first step is you must download the sample IIF file that we're going to use to create the import template. So go into this link to download the sample IIF file. So I'll do that process real quick here. I'll go ahead and click on download. And I'm going to open up Excel. Go to the file menu, open, downloads folder, that will typically be in the downloads folder. And then down here, very important, you need to change it from all Excel files to all files. And I'm going to open up the file that ends with IIF. Hit open. As soon as that happens, I'm going to get a question about whether or not this is delimited or a fixed width. I'm going to choose the limited, click next, and finish. And basically, this is what the IAF template looks like. I'm going to zoom it in. Now, we must work on this exact same template in order for us to be able to import this into QuickBooks. However, this is the actual spreadsheet that I set up before downloading the template. This is the exact same amount of information that I want to import into QuickBooks. But I can't do it just like that. I need to make sure that this information goes into this spreadsheet based on this format. So I need to go from this to that. Now the first thing to kind of understand here is that positives are debits and negatives are credits. Also on this column E here, this is where all the expense accounts would go. And I need to have the split row, SPL row, for every single line item that I'm going to have under here. So this is my spreadsheet that I want to import. So I'm going to take a look at how many rows I have here. So I have 11 rows. So I need to make sure that in here I also have 11 rows. So I'm going to go ahead and insert 11 rows here. Okay. And I need to make sure that the SPL tag is in all the rows. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and put SPL in all of these, just like that. And then the general tag in this case, general journal type, needs to also be in all the rows, like this. Now the date needs to be consistent throughout. So I'm going to put one date in here, the date of the journal entry. I'm going to go ahead and copy that down. Whoops. They all need to be the same. Perfect. Now here is where I'm going to go ahead and insert those uh, entries from my original spreadsheet. I'll go ahead and copy all the expense accounts. And I'll paste them in here. There we go. I can delete any extra rows that I don't need. And now I need to make sure that on the amount column here, which is column G, that I have all the positives that are debits and all the negatives that are credits. So switching back to my original spreadsheet, I could do something simple like equals debit minus the credit. And this will actually create a formula for me where all the positives will be the debits and all the Negatives will be the credits. So I can just copy these. Go into my IF file and paste them. Now, these also need to be rounded to two digits. So that's extremely important. So I'm going to make sure that I'm working here under two digits only. Okay, perfect. So once I copy and pasted the account names here, I put all the positive numbers as debits and all the credits as negative. I can basically save over this existing template. So I'm gonna click on save. I'm gonna get an error that this is not actually an Excel file, that this is an IIF file, which is okay, because this is the only type of file that I can import into QuickBooks. I'll hit yes. I'm gonna go into QuickBooks here. 
go to file utilities import IAF files and there it is ends with IAF and I'll click on open I need to make sure the file is not open in Excel so I got that error because it was still open in Excel so I'm going to go ahead and close it and then go back into QuickBooks and go to File, Utilities, Import, IEF Files. There we go. And I have a balance sheet and a profit and loss to show you exactly how the process worked. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on any transaction so we can actually see the journal entry. And there we go. That was 100% imported from Excel.